So what is a fail-proof way to export your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro so that you're getting the highest quality possible? In this video, I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to render out your videos so that they are super crispy. So let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takoy with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tech gear reviews and tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So before I get into the tutorial, if you have not watched our video on how to start a Premiere project, please do so because every part of the video process has to be streamlined from the settings in your camera to the sequence that you're editing on your videos to then rendering or exporting them to make sure you get the best quality possible. So we'll put, we'll link that up in the YouTube card and in the description below. And I just wanna make a note that with all things Adobe, they really have make, made ways that you can do the same thing a million different ways. And maybe that's why, you know, the Premiere could be a little bit uh, overwhelming. However, I'm gonna show you our way here at Think Media. So just keep that in mind. There's a million ways you can skin this cat, uh, but let, let's get into it. All right, so you're ready to export your video. You are done editing, exciting times. I got this video that I just finished editing. It's a donut shop here in Las Vegas that I created a video for. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mark your endpoint. And the way you do that is simply dragging your blue cursor all the way to the beginning. You wanna click above the time frame. That allows you to just click wherever you wanna click and then you can then drag the cursor. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning of the video. I'm gonna hit the letter I to mark in. So if you notice, I'm all the way at the beginning. I'm gonna zoom in by pressing the plus button. Hit the letter I. Cool. Now, once you marked your in, you're gonna now mark your out. So you're gonna hold the shift button and this could serve as a tip if you don't know this trick already. Hold down the shift button on your keyboard and then click or drag the cursor until you get to the end of your video. So as you can see, it kind of locks into place. It kind of locks anywhere there's a cut per se, but I'm gonna go out to the end of the video, go to the end, hit the letter O to mark out. Now, just, for, uh, just to mention, if you do not mark out, your video is gonna render all this black space uh, wherever it is, you know, marked. So just make sure that you mark out at the end of your video. Now, once you mark the out point, we're gonna go to File, Export, Media. And then just to make sure things that you never really have to worry about unless you're doing something special, uh, you wanna make sure you're selected on H.264. That's just a MP4 file. Uh, and then select match source high bit rate. I love this because it simply just references the sequence settings. So if you have your camera settings right, you started your sequence, you edited your video, and then you just needed to export it, it just references your sequence. Now it's just very fail proof. Uh, I used to struggle with exporting video and this has made it very simple. I'm gonna now select sequence one or whatever your sequence is, uh, the blue. I'm gonna click here and then I'm just gonna type in donut export uh, IG. And then you're ready to go, that's it. That's all you gotta do, hit export. So I just wanna share a quick bonus tip, but before I do, uh, that's how you easily render your videos. It's pretty straightforward, but if you got value in this video, why don't you smash the like button? And I just got a question before I give you this tip, and that is, what kind of videos do you like making? Let me know in the comment section below, and let's get into this bonus tip. So somebody commented in a previous video uh, and they were asking how do you you know, export maybe a 4K project file as a 1080p project file. Many times you don't need 4K and you know, there's some platforms that don't even support 4K or anything. So I would, I would first say just edit the video as a 4K file or a 4K project. Just edit it straight through as is. And the only thing you actually have to change is just at the end during your export settings. So for instance, here I have a 4K project and let's say I wanted to export it as a 1080 instead of a 4K. I'm just gonna go to File, uh, Export Media, and then once the dialog pops up, I'm gonna make sure that H.264 is selected. And then instead of having match source high bit rate, I'm just gonna hit the drop down and select high quality 1080p HD, boom. And now, even though it's a 4K sequence, it's going to render it as a 1080 project file or a 1080 video. And I can just name this, you know, Premiere Tutorial. Uh, I don't know how to type uh, 1080. And then boom, you are, uh, you're good to go. So that's just a way that you can export uh, a bigger file type or you know, if you wanna shrink the size of a video, that's how you would do it. That's how I would suggest you do it. But thanks so much for checking out this video. If you wanna see another Premiere tutorial or check out our playlist, uh, just click or tap the screen and I can't wait to see you in another video. Peace.